Congratulations, pal. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. We were desperate to get on, mate. I can't imagine what you were thinking. Oh, yeah. on that. We were, the whole crowd were itching. <laughs> Happy, Joe? Yeah. Ivan, first and foremost, many congratulations. You are now an official England player. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels uh, so surreal. I mean, I couldn't think of be better uh, ground to do it in front of. And uh, obviously my family. Been a, been, been a long journey, but to finally make onto the pitch, get my, uh, get my first cap, it's a massive moment, you know. It's the second time you've been called up and you didn't get the chance in your first call up. And, and I wonder whether you look at the way Harry Kane's playing, he breaks the record and you must be sitting there thinking, am I going to get another chance here? So, and it was late in the game when you got that chance. I mean, with a player like Harry Kane in front of you, it's always going to be tough. <laughs> he's, he's one of the best strikers in the world. And, um, but all, all, all I can keep doing is uh, keep working hard. And when my chance come, just take it with two hands and I did that today and uh, thankfully that I got my cap and uh, it means a lot. It means, it, means, it means a lot, believe me. You only got 10 minutes and you didn't really get a chance in that time to, to stick the ball in the back of the net. There was one that bounced your way and I thought it might drop to you. There was one where I thought Jack Grealish might have squared it for you. Were you, were you itching? Are you, are you on the pitch thinking, come on, just give me a chance? Yeah, of course, of course. You're, you're, you're going to be itching for, to, to get the ball in the back of the net but the main thing is do, do, do things right, trying to, trying to see the game out and get three points, which is obviously the main thing, and the main aim of the game. The manager's spoken very highly of you in this camp and in the previous camp as well. He likes the way you conduct yourself and he says you've impressed him a lot in training. Do you think you've done enough to, to kind of leave an impression in the manager's mind? Yeah, I feel like I have. I feel like I'm, I'm working on my game uh, every day and um, I feel like on, on the training pitch, I've been working hard, doing the right things and you just got to do that. When, when you're not playing, you just got to make sure you're working hard, head down and keep, keep progressing. And um, like I said, you've got to keep your name ringing around the, the, the manager's mind and hopefully when, a chance, when he gives you the chance, you've got to take it. You've been extraordinary for, for Brentford this season. The manager's talked about that as well. The first Brentford player since 1939 to win an England cap. Does that make it that extra bit special? Yeah, obviously everybody at Brentford are rooting for me. Uh, I was getting a message before the 8-day game. I was itching to get on them, but it didn't happen. But they kept messaging me for, for today and uh, I got the cap. So this is not just a special moment for myself, it's a special moment for everybody at Brentford and everybody involved. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. Ivan, just quickly, how have the lads helped you settle in, <clears throat> the other players here? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great bunch. Uh, obviously, we're all for the same objective, which is uh, to win the game and uh, get three points. And I mean, everybody's a, everybody's a great person. Obviously, we know him, I get, we know him a bit playing against them, but yeah, they've helped me massively uh, settle in. It's, it's been very good. And there's obviously a lot of club rivalries, but they're, they're all put aside with England, aren't they? That's what is great about this group. Yeah, of course. Obviously, we're on the same team now, and uh, we're, we're all here for one thing, and that's to win. And uh, we, we'll make sure that on training hard and putting it into game, game matches. And the focus on Germany for next year, that's the target, yeah? Correct. And Ivan, uh, three years ago, you're playing in League One, so what's the feeling like making your debut at Wembley? I was actually speaking about that the other day with my friend, uh, saying about three, four years ago, as I was in League One, fighting to get promotion now I'm making my cap for England but like I said it's been a massive journey it's been a long journey <laughs> but to finally make it to get my first England cap is, is a massive achievement but obviously the world the hard work starts now and uh, hopefully I can continue that. Did you dream about playing for England when you were playing for Peter Berlin did you think it was a goal that you could achieve? Hundred percent obviously you've got to dream big and uh, I've, 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 I've made my dream reality so um, it's a massive achievement for my family and myself and everybody involved. And finally, uh, Northampton tweeted saying you're the first player from their academy to play for the national team. How do you feel? Yeah, it's massive. The Phantom boy, the Phantom raise. So, a uh, big achievement for everybody in the Phantom. Thank you. Gareth Southgate is obviously playing a variety of strikers. Over his tenure, with an eye to find the deputy to Harry Kane at the moment. Before when he was in the way for quite a few years. Uh, well, I hope so. I hope uh, I can keep um, performing and keep keep myself uh, in and around the mix. But obviously, like you said, it's Harry Kane. He's one of the best strikers in the world in front of me. So, and there's other strikers that are doing well as well around the, around the, the Premier League. So, um, I just got to keep doing me, keep doing what I can do on the pitch, and hopefully, it's enough. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Well done, Ivan. Congratulations, pal. Come on,